Taylor. Trying to. And but now it's a center request. Okay, y'all, we are back. Hello again. Hi. I don't know why it keeps freezing. It's your connection, Freddie. It's not me. Can you get to another spot? <laughs> Freaking out right now. I hear somebody. Oh, Lord, make the connection, please. God, please. Okay. Okay. It is it. It ain't me. I'm perfect over here. I Okay, y'all. He's having technical difficulties around his end. So we gonna try one more time. I am so sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, Jesus. I am. Hello. Okay, 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 girl. <sighs> Unable to join. <sighs> All right, y'all. I've got a suggestion. Okay. It's your connection. It's your connection, buddy. All right. We, the thing is freezing still. Uh -oh. All right, his thing is freezing, but I'm gonna just keep going. No, it's still freezing. I don't. All right, I got it. I got a better idea. Um, if we're just gonna do it like this. I'm going to just continue on with the show. Don't worry about it. Because it's just going to keep freezing. Okay? You see? All right, y'all. 
Okay, so basically, since Freddy is having technical difficulties, I'm just going to continue on with the show. Um, basically, for me, I would say I never really suffered with depression until the loss of my sister which that was over a year ago. And I wouldn't say it was depression. I would just say it was just a grieving period, basically. Um, I was 27. And I just recently started counseling back in February do for that because it was getting pretty bad. Some of the things that helped me cope were, like I said, just going to counseling, talking with family and friends, most definitely praying, most definitely. Um... Hold on one second, y'all. I'm going to turn the page real quick. Um, I would say with having CP and dealing with depression and anxiety, number one, I never really got depressed about having a disability. I think... My, like I said, my depression came on later on in life. So it wasn't like, oh, like I'm sad because I have CP. It was more of the fact of I wish I could do things like other other kids, but I still live <laughs> a good life despite my different ability, you know? Um... A book that a book that helped me got through my depression. I would say Big Bold and Beautiful. It's by Kiara Sheard. I'm still reading it though, but it's a really great book. It she that book really got me through some tough stuff. As well as reading the Bible which y'all definitely should if y'all believe in God or whoever you believe in because God is the source to everything. So for me, it's definitely been that, like I said, talking with friends and family and definitely going to counseling. It definitely has truly helped. Um, let me see. Mm, got a few more more questions y'all hold on my go to song probably for my depression would be trying to think I have so many but if I had to pick one or two from R&B or gospel it would be It's Over Now by Dietrich Haddon Bound Again by Full Gospel with Bishop Paul S. Morton Featuring William Murphy, an R&B song would be Can't Take That Away by Mariah Carey, and Fly Like a Bird by her as well. Um, Favorite inspirational quote? Hmm. Dang Favorite inspiration. That's a tough one because I have so many. You can do it. That that would be what that would be one that I always kind of look up to because even in spite of going through different things, and no matter how tough things may get, like how you be dealing with the life and everything, I'm still. I'm still going, you know what I'm saying? So, you can do it would be definitely a quote that I would definitely live by. 
A positive lesson that you have learned from a friend or family. I would say a positive lesson that I learned from a, a friend or family is just keep going. Keep going when stuff gets stuff gets hard because if you don't, and I don't care if you heard this so many times, if you want to be successful. If you want to have, if you want to see your YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube channel out there, if you want to get to a different position at a job you're working at, if you want to get to anywhere higher in life, you have to keep going. Even if you're going to physical therapy, just keep pushing. And as I'm telling this to you, I'm telling this to myself, you know. Because I know how it is, especially with having a different ability, and you're like, it's just hard. It's so hard. And believe me, I have those. <laughs> I've had plenty of those moments. So I know what that feels like. But I'm telling y'all, y'all got to keep going. You have to. And I know that dealing with that it's a hard thing to swallow but the best thing i would do to say is if you're suffering with depression and anxiety please go seek counseling please go seek counseling because that will really help you put things into a different perspective from an outside party like instead of just hearing it from friends and family. I know because it definitely has been helping me. Definitely. Um, talk to friends and family. Write that stuff down. Write it down. Write it all the way down. That has definitely helped me too. So if you do poetry, if you do books, if you do art, if you do vlog about it just get it out and get it out your system so write it down tape it do whatever you have to do and well that is it for today's show ladies and gentlemen thank you for the people who tune in and freddy Maybe next time we can do this properly. And I am so sorry, y'all, for the inconvenience. But thank you for the viewers that did tune in. And I am so sorry. I promise next time will be so much better. But thank you for tuning in to The Amber Show, Episode 1. So, how you doing, Freddie? I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So, do you want to tell the viewers just a brief summary about yourself before we get started? Well, <laughs> this is the first time I've done a TV show in about five years. Uh, I usually do video graphics, graphic, well, not video graphics, but graphic design, video production. And <laughs> if anybody needs a graphic designer, I'm your guy. So... So make sure, I will make sure I drop his Instagram or you can drop your at name in the comment section. So okay. if anybody want to know where I got my graphic done, he was my guy. That is so, right. So, all right, you ready to get started? Yeah, why not? All right, let's get into it. Okay, so... Before we get started, I just want to say, I know that everybody knows we're going through a pandemic, right? Right. So, of course, we know depression and anxiety probably has heightened for y'all, maybe not, or maybe you just come to be depressed as the pandemic has started. Or 
or maybe you have had depression and anxiety for a while and it has increased since the pandemic. So I just wanted to do this episode and dedicate it to y'all that may be going through something to lift y'all spirits. But anyway, we finna get into the show. All right, so first question. Since we are in a pandemic, how has your depression and anxiety been for you? How has depression and anxiety... Say that one more time. How has your depression and anxiety been for you since we've been in the pandemic? It's kind of heightened ever since then. Um, You know, it's not been too bad, but it's been heightened in recent months. So. Mm -hmm. So when you say heightened on a scale to one to ten, like if you had to give it a number, what would you say? I would say it's probably an eight. But okay. it's more of a mental thing that I just have to work through. Right. Other than like fear of going outside or being around people or things like that. Right. Okay. Question number question number two. With having cerebral palsy, how has dealing with depression and anxiety impacted you? Well, one of the things that happened when I was very, a lot younger, I used to fall, trip and fall a lot. And one of the things I'd be very, very nervous about is like how people react to that, which it was more me than everyone else. So like, that's something that still happens to this day that I get like anxious over or upset over. But I, I just realized that I have to keep going, you know, just keep doing what you need to be doing. Because that's the main point when you're when you're in a panic attack, you need to push past it because it's only temporary unless you let it consume you. Now I've had uh, panic attacks at like last two to six hours, depending on what the situation is and what's going on. So usually the aftermath for a right. panic attack for me are like two to six hours, if not more than that. So. Right. Well, I think what you just said about pushing through, I think that goes with anything in life because if you want to succeed in life, how do you expect to push through anything if you don't get the results that you want, you know? So in order to be successful or in order to keep a job, even days you don't want to do it, you have to keep going. And I'm logged into my Wi Fi. Wait, I'm logged in. I don't think it's my way, I think it's your way because I, I can see fine. Let me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, And uh, but now it's a center request. Okay, y'all, we are back. Hello again. Hi. I don't know why it keeps freezing. It's your connection, Freddie. It's not me. Oh, Lord. Can you get to another spot? <laughs> I can freak it out right now. I hear Oh, Lord, let the connection, please, God, please. Okay. Okay. 
merece, baby.